Happy New Year and welcome back to my fitness channel. My name is Allison and today we are kicking off 2024 with a no equipment total body workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. You don't need any equipment besides a mat. We'll be completing three blocks with three to four moves each for two rounds. Round one will be 45 seconds on and a 20 second rest. Round two will be 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest. This workout is designed for beginner to advanced fitness levels. If you'd like to work more advanced, you're welcome to hold a pair of moderate or heavy dumbbells and I'll demonstrate that option at the beginning of each exercise. A brief warm up and cool down is also included. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do a brief warm up. Take those feet about shoulder width apart, hands on the quads, give me a slow flat back down. Abs are tight, nice and slow, round at the stand. Once you're here, give me three shoulder rolls back, and three go forward. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do that two more times at your own pace, nice and slow. One vertebrae at a time, come up. Roll the shoulders back two or three times. Take it forward, good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let it out. One final time right here. Make it a little bit bigger, a little bit stretchier. <laughs> Good. Roll forward, inhale, reach, exhale. And hands on the hips, tap those toes wide. If this is your first workout for the new year, welcome. I am so excited to get started with you and I'm privileged that you've come to take my workout as your first one or second one or third one, wherever you're at. All right, when you're ready, alternate arm, press it forward right here. Knees are soft, elbows soft as well. Core is engaged. Deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Reach the arm overhead. Get a nice stretch on those sides. Beautiful. Staying here. Here's four and three. Now both arms give me a chest press in front. Starting to drop the hips down and up a little more. Our goal is to just gradually bring that heart rate up, warming the entire body up. Remember, if you're doing this as a beginner or maybe a moderate, moderate level, we're doing it with no weights today. If you'd like to go advanced, I will demonstrate um, advanced options with weights for most all the moves. So definitely pick what's best for you. Overhead reach and pull. Think about driving those elbows down and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Very nice, back in front for the chest. And pretend like you're holding weights, quick bicep curls. Good, hamstring curls with the legs. Let me show my back to you so you can see the hamstrings. All it is is we're curling those heels up to the glutes. Soft bend in the knees, heels are down. Excellent job. Stay here. Now pull it down and up, knee lifts. Reach and pull. Core engagement, bringing the knees all the way up to the chest and pulling those arms strong. You've got it. You have four. Three, right to it, hip opener, step touch. Now, if you don't know this one, all we're doing is circling that knee, stepping the feet together. Now you can start small and gradually make it a little bit bigger. If you'd like, plant the feet, quarter or half squat, bring it down. I'm just gonna do a little quarter squat to start since we're still in that warm up phase. Very nice. Here's four. Maybe start to make it a little bit deeper with each one. Two more, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and keep the squat, watch me squat, alternate, small monster kick. Now this is starting to get our hamstrings activated. Notice the leg is staying straight with a soft knee. About another 15 seconds like this, gradually making that kick a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Spine is long, sinking those hips back. You've got this. Four, three, two, let's keep your squat down and up for four. Squeeze on top, three, like you're sitting back in a chair. Now pulse it double time, sink low, eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, singles down and up, two times. Down and lift. Let's go ahead and have our hands on the quad, slow flat back. We're gonna dip one shoulder in, look over the other. Little low back stretch. And then when you're ready, center up, dip the other shoulder in. Good. Round this up to stand. Feet a little wide in the shoulder width apart, lateral lunges. And then from here, hands behind, one of my favorite stretches. 
active stretch is going to be a lunge to the side, rotation for the windmill. Open the shoulder, stretch out the arms, hands behind, center up. Try it here. Lunge, rotate, twist and reach. Whew. Good. If you're not feeling this rotation, just stick with some traditional lateral lunges like we started. If you're with me, one more on each side. Very nice. Final one. Finishing up this warm up, center up, hands on the quads. One final flat back down. Round all the way up to stand, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale down one more time, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, good job. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here. Here's your first move in block number one. Remember for round one, we're going 45 seconds on, 20 second rest. Round two will be 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest. All right, give yourself a little bit of space behind. We're gonna place our hands on the hips for now. Alternate, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, plant those feet shoulder width apart, sink low for the squat and then do it again. Reverse, reverse, and then squat. If you're not feeling a full reverse lunge or squat, go ahead and shorten that range of motion and do a quarter or half range instead. you'll need a little bit of space in front. We're combining an inchworm to a push-up. Now keeping the knee soft, we're gonna walk it up forward, assume either a hand and toe push-up, or you can drop the knees and do a push-up here, lift the knees back up, and then come all the way back up to stand. Going to be some cardio. We're doing a TikTok. Now for the low impact version, which I'm going to do, we're going to take it out to the side, no hop, but still making it a big range of motion. If you want to add a little bit of extra bounce in a deeper range, go for it here. Block number one, we're combining a prisoner squat and alternating monster kick. Looking similar to our warm up move, we're sinking low for the squat now and doing a big monster kick, leg is straight, knees are soft. Sink back, kick, kick. Feel free to shorten this range of motion by going quarter or half and doing a smaller kick instead.
For block number two, we have three moves. Your first exercise, we're combining a squat with an alternating outer thigh arm extension. Now for the squat, all we're gonna do is sink low, extend those arms to the side, bring the leg out, and then repeat the other way. If you like to, feel free to shorten this range of motion as well. Next one, we're combining strength with some cardio. Let's do an alternating lateral lunge and a triple knee or triple march switch. Going out to the side, lateral lunge, I'll do low first, one, two, three. Other side, one, two, three. If you wanna do a light jog instead, one, two, three. One, two, three. Your final move is cardio and a set of lateral skaters. Giving yourself a little bit of room on the side, we're just gonna do a small hop, tap back, small hop, tap back. If you'd like to take that hop out, you can even make it a greater range of motion and really tap and reach. You never give me any chance. Watch me on my way out. Nothing's gonna save us from our doubts. Nothing's gonna make us spell it out. I don't wanna be the one who said, oh, I told you so. But I told you so.
block number three, we're down on the ground. So if you have a mat, set it up. We're kicking it off with a set of alternating side plank hip dips. Going onto your forearms, we're gonna take it onto your forearms or knees or toes. Let me show you the toes version first. From here, we're gonna rotate to the side, drop the hip once, take the forearm down, rotate, face the other way, drop the hip and repeat. To modify this, you'll keep the knees down, drop the hip, rotate the same way like we did before, and then drop the hip the other way. Next up, let's flip it over and combine a reverse crunch tricep dip. Now, fingertips facing in, all we're gonna do is take it back, and then when we come up, drive the knees to the chest. Inhale, exhale. If you'd like to modify this further, you can shorten that range of motion and do alternating knees instead. all the way down on our back with some lying leg circles. I'd like to place my hands under the hips for a little extra lower back support. Legs are raised. I'm gonna drop the legs down, circle, and then bring those feet up together on top. And then I'm gonna reverse, bring it down, and then back up. Greater the range, more you work. Your final move in this workout is a set of dead bugs. On your back with the legs tabletop, arms extended, we're gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg, engage in the core and make sure there's no space between your lower back and the floor. Modify this more by removing the arms and just doing the legs.
job with that workout today. Go ahead and hug those knees in, rock it side to side. If you like to, you can even do a happy baby, opening up those knees more and reaching towards the arches of your feet. This is a great one for those hip flexors as well. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and set left foot on the ground, right knee, hug it in, and then slowly extend up to the ceiling. Light grasp behind the calf, point the toe, inhale, and then exhale, gently bring that leg in closer to you. If you'd like to, you can extend this leg straight, keeping that foot active and flexed. Good. Letting the heart rate come down even more. Try flexing the foot now. Rolling the ankle out and reverse. Beautiful. Take this leg 90 degrees, cross the other leg over for a line figure four stretch, reaching in between the legs, inhale, exhale, gently pulling it in. I like to add a little bit of extra pressure, pushing my elbow against the inner thigh to really deepen that stretch. And feel free to hold these stretches longer than what we're doing in this video. I am keeping it pretty brief today, but this is your time, your workout. So take as long as you need. When you're ready, let's switch. Other foot down, light grasp behind the calf, point the toe, inhale, exhale, pull it in. If you'd like to, you can extend that right leg long, keeping that foot flexed. Good. Breathe through it. When you're ready, flex the foot. I know both sides are gonna feel different from each other, whether this side feels tighter, the same, or a little bit more stretched out. Just kind of work with what feels good. Roll the ankle, reverse directions. And then when you're ready, go into that line figure four stretch, keep that leg bent, other leg crosses over, and then pull it in. Again, if you want a little bit more, press that elbow against the inner thigh. Good. And when you're ready, gently uncross, give yourself a big hug, either roll to the side, outside hand push up, or roll up to seated. Go ahead and sit comfortably how you like. One hand down, one arm up and over, stretching out those sides like you're trying to reach for something. Inhale, exhale, windmill those arms. Let's get the other way. One more time, each direction. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Maybe a little bit farther. Other direction here. Nice work. And when you're ready, center this up, interlace those fingers behind, open up the chest and heart, and give me a deep breath in. Exhale out, arms in front, round that upper back, dip the chin. Inhale, reach all the way up to your ceiling, and let it all go. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.